Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super related to be answering another question from one of our Street Smart Swing students online. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a video from me ever again. So the question that was asked is, how does one get good at swing dancing when you can't go out and dance with other people? This is a really good question for all of you like me who are stuck home because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I wanna answer this based on my own experience as someone who's been professionally dancing for over 30 years. There are two specific things that you can work on as a swing dancer without having to go out and social dance. So the first thing I like to talk about is working on your shapes. Your shapes are basically anything that you wanna do with your body visually that's appealing in dancing that doesn't really require you to have a partner. If you wanna work on your swivels, you can grab a doorknob and swivel it up. If you wanna work on a specific move and you don't have a partner with you, work on the way you wanna look leading or following that move. You can also work on your rhythm. These are those fundamental things that make it look like we're actually swing dancing. When I say the word rhythm, I basically mean basic swing rhythm, which is bending your knees, moving in the swing metronome, using the rhythm tools. You got rock steps and triple steps, and you can do those in any kind of pattern that you want that's gonna help strengthen your rhythm. If you actually don't work on your swing rhythm, then you won't be really swing dancing. You'll just be moving through a bunch of shapes, sharing energy with your partner, and most of the moves that you're doing will look indistinguishable from other partner dances. So it's the swing rhythm that actually adds the component that makes it look like we're swing dancing. And lastly, you're gonna to have to be patient with yourself. The reality is there is no way of escaping the fact that you will have to eventually practice dancing with a partner, and that's really just to help you with that last component of swing dancing, which is the sharing of energy with another body. I will tell you this from my own experience. I spent 90% of my time working on shapes and working on rhythm by myself without my partner. But then when I connected with my partners or if I went social dancing, all of the ideas as a leader that I wanted to lead on a partner, I was able to practice executing those ideas instead of worrying about what I was gonna do when I had people to work with. So you're really just consolidating all your effort instead of using social dancing as a time to figure out what you wanna do, you're using that as a time to actually mature with the things that you wanna do. So I can tell you from my own personal experience that working at home with or without a partner and not being able to go out and social dance still has some benefits. If you haven't already, check out our Galactic Swing Dance Empire on Patreon where you can get access to over 350 original courses plus live stream videos to help you maximize your swing dance journey at home. So there you have it. Those are some of the strategies that I've used over the years to practice at home without having to go out and social dance. And hopefully some of these tips will help you. If I don't see some of your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.